database anomalies the name anomaly what exactly the term anomaly what exactly it means is deviation from a certain standard procedure or certain standard any deviation from correct path is called anomaly so we were we are we will first discuss about uh, the data warehouse anomalies and the solution to these anomalies is normalization so we will first discuss what are the different kind of anomalies we can have in our data warehouse and later after this we will be discussing about what exactly we can do using normalization to avoid these data anomalies so anomalies as i said is is uh, is deviation from standard or correct procedure or uh, deviation of the data from the right path so joe uh, so in this example joe the sales head of xyz e-commerce company offered a special discount on products for five regular customers of the company and this offer was valid for 30 days so the case here is uh, the case here is this when he fired a query on his database so he actually had a uh, advertisement to give special discount for some customers but when he fired a query on his database to find out how many people actually got the special discount and he compared it with the data he had for the number of people he gave discount to but the fact Table, but the table in the database only the results the table in the database didn't give him the correct results why because the database table only captured the the database table actually only captured the transaction which happened and not what exactly the offer the things the discounts he offered so the data which came out from the database and the data he had been match because he gave to three customers say he gave a discount to three customers but only two of them availed the a discount so you only see two records in the database with who actually availed it so he sees in his uh, report that uh, two of them got the discounts but that's not true he actually gave discount to three people but the people who availed it were only two so when the third person will avail there will be third record entered in the database then his report will match but not as of now so this is a kind of data discrepancy you can say this is one of the anomalies we were talking about so the report generated had a wrong count because the customer who did not actually purchase the product were not inserted into the data warehouse yet so that's why his reports didn't match so how can joe actually correct the count of customers who were offered special discount so let's see why this anomaly happened and how can he uh correct this uh, report so Joe doesn't populate the customer record until the customer purchases the product. So the report he has with him, he shouldn't enter the record inside his. Uh, he should only compare uh, to the database only for those people who actually availed it, and he should compare with the report he has for those people who actually already. Perform the transaction, not for those people who he gave the discounts to. So the he shouldn't compare it with the total report. So, so that's the issue here, right? So the count does not match because uh, Rita and John avail, but the third person never avail the discount. So it doesn't match. So this approach is this kind of anomaly is called as the insert anomaly. That means the data hasn't been inserted into the data warehouse yet. so it is causing an anomaly in the report so by using this approach he will only be getting data about 
those people who have availed a discount. So in this case, we are not able to get all the people who avail. We are only getting those people, all the people who actually got the discount. But we are only getting those people who avail the discount. So this kind of anomaly is called insertion anomaly. So we are not able to insert the record into the database because they haven't availed it. So this, in this case, we are not able to insert the record of the third person who haven't availed because he, uh, who haven't availed because he hasn't performed the transaction yet. So this transaction table, which captures the data only when the products are purchased cannot accommodate the data for a person who haven't purchased the data yet. So we cannot insert his records. So that's why this uh, anomaly doesn't let you insert the record. This kind of anomaly is called insert anomaly. So to, so if you see to avoid this kind of anomaly, you can have something like this. You see in this table, there are three other customers which have Avail the uh, which got the discount but never availed. But you see the column products is populated as null for all these all these uh, records. That means the records for all the people who away uh, who got the discounts were entered into the table. For and later on when they started to avail the discounts one by one, their records were updated with the products they availed. So first Rita availed uh, TV, so her discount was discount data was closed in the table by updating the previously null to TV and then John bought a shirt, then his data was updated with shirt and likewise Paul, Rose and Peter will, as soon as they get the data, they buy the product, their data will be completed by updating the records. This kind of uh, resolution is called update anomaly. But so this in this case, you are just inserting dummy values inside the product, either null or dummy values. So this is a kind a way in which you can actually uh, address the insert anomaly. But in this case, also there is an issue. Like if in this case there is only five records, but what if there are like thousands of records, then you have to fire like thousands of update queries on the tables. So if you if you have like millions and thousands of records, updating each record every time will be a big pain and it's a very big performance overhead. So this is this kind of anomaly where you have to update multiple records is called update anomaly. So that is Yeah, so that is called the update anomaly and the next one, next kind of anomaly is called the delete anomaly. So if you see all these anomalies, right, so they are basically because, basically happening because you design your table in a certain way or your data model in a certain way. The last anomaly is the delete anomaly uh, which is because after a particular discount offer is availed by a certain person like say Rita and John, then you can actually retain the record in the warehouse. But what will happen if you keep retaining the records after the dis special discount offer is finished? So later on when you want to count the number of persons who actually purchased the products without special discounts, you wouldn't be able to find out. So to then for to address this issue, you actually have to delete those records who have already avoid, uh, availed the discount. So it's actually a bit confusing, I know, but I'm just saying that so keeping the records in there will will have different uh, issues in the reports. So for that you have to start deleting the records. But look at the example which they show here, right? This is 
so in your whole system imagine this is your only table right this table has information about customer customer name and the product the customer bought correct so it's okay to delete certain records like say you delete uh, the in okay I think this table is doesn't look complete so I will just give another uh, column to this table say customer ID customer name products and the vendor of the product the guy who is the supplier or the vendor of the product so say TV has a supplier shirt has a supplier AC has a supplier and yeah so AC has a supplier so in this case you can as I said if you keep uh, keep the people who have done uh, who have availed a special discount then you would not get the correct value for those people who actually are buying products without any discount so in this case you would have to delete the records who were uh, who are buying products uh, uh, sorry who already availed the uh, bought the products based on the discount so in this case you will have to delete uh, Rita John and Paul right but let's say Rose is also one of the guy who actually availed the discount uh, the pro bought the product on discounted price then you will delete the roses record but if you see in the whole table there is only one record which is the row uh, which is rose who bought a air con air conditioner right so I as I said there is an extra column which gives you supplier informa information of the product there's no dimension link to it there's nothing there's only one table in your system so as soon as you remove the rows record your information about the air conditioner is gone so by deleting the records you are actually losing information so if you're losing the information this by deleting record to maintain some other kind of integrity in your report this kind of anomaly is called delete anomaly so deleting record from your system tables is causing loss of information this is called delete anomaly so to avoid these kind of anomalies we will have to so let's see what uh, yeah so that's what in this case as I explained delete anomaly we are not able to perform delete without losing valid information yeah so that's that's what I just explained so to avoid these kind of database design which will which will cause uh, the data anomalies we have to form a robust design of our data model so that we don't lose information either by insert or get wrong uh, reports because of uh, because of insert or update anomalies or we yeah so we maintain the integrity of the reports we are getting so so to avoid all these anomalies we have to design our database efficiently which we can do by normalization which is another concept in data warehousing as I said to avoid these kind of uh, anomalies we can uh, uh, normalization is used so what what is normalization normalization is the gen, uh, is basically arranging arranging your data in logical groups to avoid uh, data redundancy redundancy is uh, repetition of your data which uh, which takes away a lot of uh, memory space in your uh, database and updating and inserting record shouldn't cause any accuracy or data integrity issues so this is what uh, the goals of normalization is to avoid redundancy to uh, avoid uh, data accuracy while updating and inserting records and uh, to avoid loss of information by deleting records so these kind of, this is the four different goals of normalization 